At least two million people in the Philippines are begging for help after what may be the deadliest disaster in the country's history. This morning, 10,000 people or more are feared dead after Typhoon Haiyan struck the island nation with winds up to 170 miles an hour. The confirmed death toll is now at 942. The winds, along with the storm surge, destroyed tens of thousands of buildings. One official says, in some cases, devastation has been total. The storm surge reached as high as houses' roofs. Few buildings could withstand the wind. We managed to contact the mayor of the town of Coron in the Philippines on Busuanga. This was the last island the typhoon hit before it crashed ahead westwards. People here described the noise as terrifying. Coron's population is some 45,000. The mayor says the counting of the dead and injured has only just begun, but that what's left of the airport is already back in use. We have no electricity, no water, and uh, our food supply can only last for six days. We are in urgent need of food, basically rice, uh, drinking water, we need uh, medicines like antibiotics, medicine for cough, fever, mosquito nets, blankets, clothes, because 85.5% uh, of our people have lost their homes, including their belongings, so that uh, they can rebuild their lives and they can have at least uh, clothes behind their backs. 